yourself a hunter. Aha! So this is me playing um, Bloodborne for the first time. A lot of bloopers in this thing. For instance, I wasn't actually sure if I could get off the table myself. And, okay, I'm filling with a bunch of buttons now, randomly. I keep pressing that one button. I'm trying to press the other one, but I don't realize what I'm doing. <laughs> that was funny. I didn't realize I could destroy that stuff. Doing some more jumping around. This is my first time using a PlayStation controller also, so I'm going to hit the wrong buttons a lot of times. Oh god, that was so much fun to destroy that stuff. <laughs> I, kept, I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't destroy more of the bookcases. I had no idea how I did that. None at all. That was a lot of fun, though. I think I tried to copy that movement a few times. Uh, yeah. Those little note things were weird. Here I am searching for more of them. Because I didn't notice that they were glowing. That should have tipped me off at first, that there was nothing else in this room. Oh, I'm playing with the camera now. I think I almost got stuck a few times on the camera. Yeah, I'm messing around with the camera. <laughs> that was fun. Ah, uh, the door. The door of indecision. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button there again. I'm gonna do that a lot. I was actually surprised by how loud the doors were. I keep- I'm trying to use the camera to scope out ahead of me because I keep feeling like something's about to jump out. Of course they don't. I'm also trying to figure out if I can sneak or if I can run. I haven't figured out if I can do either at that point. I think I can only run so far. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm just randomly typing buttons now, probably trying to figure something out. Or I'm messing with the cording, I'm not sure. This is the first time I've done the PlayStation some um, video recording, so yeah, I'm stuck here trying to figure out the recordings. I think I gave up. And... <laughs> I'm messing with the uh, tax again. I thought that was really cool, and I wasn't sure how I did it. That one too. Here I am trying to figure out how to do that again. Oh man. I'm so bad at this game right now. <laughs> I thought that thing was going to jump out and attack me. That's why I'm kind of like trying to scope out the room. And these things in the floor, I wasn't sure if they were going to kill me or not at first. Those things look so weird. <laughs> I'm so happy they tell me this after I spent a few minutes in the last room trying to figure out how to do that. There I gotta go. My awesome karate chop arm. Destroy some stuff. And here I am fiddling with the camera again. Aw, oh, man. Ooh, more of those little dudes. So, I had no idea how to do this. I think I spent a while trying to figure out which that was. And it took me the longest time to realize that it was the trigger. It was the actual little, um... Uh, oh, damn, what do you call those things? The little move stick thing? The Ah, oh, damn, I'm gonna hate myself that I can't remember this. But that thing. I could not figure out that it was this, so I'm going to spend a long time not locked on to opponents and not realize why. Yeah, I'm trying to find out where that sound was coming from. I thought at first I could sneak by here, but then I kind of realized that I don't want to be in a bottleneck if I have to fight my first enemy there, so I go back around. And yeah, more indecision. I wasn't sure if I could creep up and how far, or how close I could get to this thing before it would notice me. And there, I wasted an attack again. Here I am trying to attack and I'm like a million miles away. It just murders me. <laughs> I was like stuck. And I was like rapidly traversing buttons just trying to get away. I hit the wrong button there. <laughs> oh man, that thing really killed me. And there it is, attacking me again. My first death. I should keep a death counter. Okay, so I cut out the um, boring loading screen here, because no one wants to watch that for extended periods of time. Now, I don't really do much in the hub world here, except for explore around the different stuff and look at the scenery. Because, well, I was still trying to figure out how to do a bunch of stuff, so that's kind of boring. So, this part of the video is just mostly me kind of wandering around, looking at things and fiddling with buttons again, kind of like the beginning of the first part. So. 
those little guys, those are so creepy how they make all that sound and it's like, ooh, creepy little dudes. Though they kind of do look cute if you don't look at them long enough. Now, this doll is cool. I know it should do something, but I'm not sure how to get it to do anything yet. I kind of skipped the weapons here because I wanted to see the rest of the place before I chose anything. You know, look to see if they give me any hints or any items. Now, I'm about to realize that my hands are cupped, and I'm not sure why my character was doing that. There we go. I see that my hands are cupped there. Now, I'm trying to figure out how to stop that, and I got it, finally. Now, this was cool. I still don't know what the inside is supposed to do, or where to find it. Okay, that was just me being stupid and jumping off the ledge. I should have checked to see if I could do fall damage before I attempted something like that. Now, I'm attacking things. Well, attacking nothing because I felt that I was should have done better in that fight against the giant beast thing, but I didn't. Now, I kind of walk around here and I look at all this different stuff. I really like the hub world. It's really beautiful. I love the pillars. It's just like nothing in the middle of all these pillars and, and the creepy dudes come out of the ceiling. Well, not the ceiling. That's the ground. I should know the ground from the ceiling by now. So, this is kind of where I learned some of this stuff. Of course, I still haven't done a visceral attack yet. I have to figure out how to do that. It's kind of hard to do the timing for a bunch of this stuff. So, I wonder if any of the firearms are any good. I should have checked that before I bought one. Yeah. Okay, so here's how I learned which buttons actually did the charge attack. I wasn't looking down. Mostly just press buttons at random, just repeated actions again, which probably won't work for here. This is when I realized why I sucked so bad at that fight was because I kept pressing that button instead of the other attack button. So instead of attacking, I tried to change weapons, which is not really useful. Well, I'm going to have to cut the recording here because I cut out a bunch of stuff that you guys don't see. So I'll get on to choosing a weapon and the next one. So let's see you soon.